Oracle Database 23 AI introduced many features for enhancement to enhance our converged database strategy, such as JSON relational duality views or the new AI vector search uh, functionality, but also uh, functions and operations to simplify, let's say, to issue a SQL or to operate with the database. I'd like to focus in this presentation on the nice feature priority transaction and li like to explain it in, uh, in the next session. So let's go first back to row logs and Oracle database. How does it work? Uh, let's assume we have two transactions, a blue one and a red one here. The blue one is issuing or trying to update or is updating an employee's view and like and changes the phone number of from one employee here with the ID 118. There's a second transaction, the red one also tries or is also updating the employee with the ID 118 and is also issuing the update command. What happens? Here, of course, the first transaction the blue one is acquiring a lock. So the second one is waiting, is waiting and waiting and waiting until the first transaction is finishing the uh, transaction with a rollback or a commit. What can you, can you, how can you solve this problem if the transaction takes a very long time? Uh, how can you, uh, can you work with this or how can you sol uh, solve this situation? Um, you may ask the DBA manu to manually terminate the blocking transaction. He can have a look at the views. Here is a nice example, uh, the two employees and can find out the SID and then of course, um, perhaps issuing an alter system kill session or kill statement command. On the other side, there is a database resource manager. There are plan information, plan rules where you can define how long the execution time, the idle time or the blocker time may be. That means, but it means you need to introduce and need to use a database resource manager. Now, in, in 23AI, we have something new, the priority transaction. And as you can assume or read uh, or, or when you, when you uh, have this name priority transaction, it means you can control now transactions and give them a certain priority. And a higher priority will roll back than the lower priority. That's the automatism that we introduced um, in this transaction. The low priority transaction uh, will be auto automatically aborted, but we will still be alive. And we will show this in, in one example so that you get an idea how it works. The configuration is very easy. You need two types of parameters that you have to set up. Um, one for the wait time, high or medium wait time, because you have two transaction uh, or three transaction priorities, but the two which get be rolled back are the medium or the low transactions. So the DBA needs to set up for the PDB, the wait time, for example, for the high, tra high transaction and the wait time for the medium transaction. Um, the application then needs to define or specify which in which priority uh, it is in, meaning, for example, um, it can be uh, set up with the session command that has a low priority. To automate this, you can use, of course, uh, login triggers to make this much easier. Um, the default for both is, uh, of course, we have an unlimited time for high and medium, and there is there are only high transactions. That's the status quo when you start with 23AI. If you want to test it or simulate the information around prior transactions, you may to change the uh, the mode from rollback that's enabled to the track mode so you can simulate it and only check the, the views if this works for you and you really like to use it now in production. So let's go back to our first example to get an idea how it will work then with this new setup. Assume, let's assume we have a low low transaction, the blue one is a low one, and it connects as a low priority transaction. And the second one, the red one, is our usual default transaction. It's, of course, in a high mode. Um, the prereq that this works is, of course, that the DBA has before set up the wait time. In this case, let's assume uh, for the high weight target, uh, it's 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, the update will succeed from the red trans uh, transaction, and uh, we can continue to work. What happens with a low, uh, low priority transaction? 
it uh, the the transaction is rolled back, but it's still alive and can work. But it should acknowledge the rollback, meaning it should issue the rollback command. If it does not do this, it will receive a new error message. The transaction must be rolled back, and here you can see it. And after that, it can continue to work. So you can also have it in a more, let's say, more complex environment, for example, with two, two lower transactions and more. We show, we, will, we show this in our actual, in our recent posting priority transaction with high and medium and low priority. And what you can see also with two low transactions after an, an, a while, of course, we get the row updated and the high transaction, uh, transaction will succeed. So that's it. It's it's very easy. Meaning priority transaction allows transaction to be automatically rolled back and gives you the parameters to control this behavior. It's it's simple to configure, easy. It's not time consuming. Do, you can monitor it in in the alert file in all the view like v dollar transactions, v dollar sysstat, v dollar session. Um, if you want to get more detailed information, check out your our posting I already mentioned, or uh, check out the managing transaction chapter in the database administration guide. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us, and I hope you will find this feature useful.